Hey everyone, this is Mike from TechHog.com again, and today we're going to be talking to you guys about another app. It's called Vlingo. If you haven't already heard of Vlingo, it's sort of like a personal assistant um, that allows you to use the voice uh, recognition feature of your Android phone to pretty much do everything from find facts to find a taxi and maybe even buy movie tickets. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run right in and show you what we got. So this is the basic setup of Vlingo. This is actually version 3.0, uh, I think 0.4. Um, and as you can see, if you're not familiar with the app, or if you are, they've actually give it, given the thing a complete makeover. Um, a very slick, clean interface, um, very easy on the eyes, and um, just very well done. Um, so let's go ahead and tell you what you guys can do. Um, everything from uh, sending messages to calling people, finding restaurants, um, searching features, updating your social networks, getting answers, open apps. Um, these are all a list of different things like buying movie tickets um, that you can do using the voice chat and the voice recognition. Um, and there's, there's some ads down here. There is a pro version of the app that allows you to get rid of the ads completely and it's actually something that you can do right from within the app as well. Um, so let's give you an example here. Um, if I wanted to maybe say find a restaurant and um, this is actually kind of cool. If you actually do this, it doesn't. This, the voice recognition is actually really, really good, um, and the technology behind it. So even if something is spelled incorrectly, um, it still has a tendency to find it. So let's try restaurants. And if I come in here and just put um, find Bon Tempo Brothers Pizza. Now what it does is it actually tries to use your location to help find the closest thing. So you'll notice that it actually says Bartonville Brothers, but that's not what I wanted. The very first one was Bon Tempo Brothers Pizza, which is actually the one that I wanted and um, is first one on the list. So the technology behind it is actually pretty, pretty good. Um, you can actually go back as far as, um, let's say, updating our social status on Facebook. Um, you can kind of see it kind of gives you examples of what to say to make it easier. Um, so if we'll say, update Facebook, what's going on? And there it is. What's going on? Facebook is highlighted. Um, the first time you do this, you'll actually have to sync your Facebook account to the app, um, which I've already done. And then, boom, all you got to do is hit share, and you're off. Um, it's like I said, it's really smooth. You can do another one. Buy movie tickets, Harry Potter. Um, it works in partnership with uh, Fandango, which allows you to uh, bring it right to the page here. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, obviously nothing showing today, but you can come in from the app and uh, pick a different day. Let's say, I think it comes out on the 15th. And um, allows you to play the trailer from right there. Once the time loads, there's your uh, movie times that you can purchase tickets for. Um, so overall, it's, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Um, so I'll keep going back here. Um, it even actually allows you to do facts. So if I said, um, how deep is the ocean? As you can see, it's very quick in terms of response. There's your question. How deep is the ocean? The average depth of the ocean is 12,000 feet. The deepest part of the ocean is 35,000 feet. Um, this is part of the Q&A thing. I mean, it's one of those things that allows you to search without having to do the uh, the Google search, but it has the, the built-in functionality of doing things that the Google search doesn't do. Um, you can book hotels, hear incoming messages, and things like that. Um, the only thing I wish it did have, as they call it a personal assistant, um, is the ability to actually update your calendars. Um, if I could say something like um, create event, um, July 15th, 2011, 5 o'clock p.m., uh, that kind of thing, and actually have it set calendar events. And then as I'm walking around, it would you know report back to me like a real virtual assistant would do. Um, but, you know, you can gripe little things like that every now and then. Overall, i got to say the app is really clean. It's crisp. It, it does exactly what it tells you to do, and it's very fast. Um, if you guys haven't tried it out, I suggest you just give it a whirl. See what, it, see what it does for you guys. You can get directions. You can even open your apps from this thing. It's really nice. Um, and then to add on top of it, if you wanted to, you could actually come in 
and even add the uh, Vlingo widget, which when you see it, looks just like the Google widget. Um, so you can move it up here, you can move it where you want, you can tap right here, buy movie tickets. Yep, got to add a name to it, sorry. Buy movie tickets, Transformers. Begins to load. There you go. Right from your right from your uh, main screen on your phone. Um, pretty much everything you got to search. I mean, you could do a really good job. Um, I mean, everything from search web cnn.com. And there you go. Website's first thing that pops up. You don't have to go searching and typing it in anymore. Um, just a really quick, um, great little app. And like I said, for being for free, it's not a bad little pickup. If you want to get rid of the ads, if you really, really enjoy it, again, there is a premium version if you want to pick that up. And um, so, yeah, that, the app is called Vlingo. And uh, V-L-I-N-G-O. Check it out on the Android market. And uh, from techhog.com, I'm Mike. And I hope to guys see you guys again soon. Thanks so much.